All right, so that's wishing you a dapper day. Ha, huh, how do you like that? And the rest of the paper and ink card class cards are this little guy done with the party pandas. Gina says, who's my upline? She's lucky to have you. My upline is my friend, Angie Judah. And this one, isn't that fun? This was inspired by a swap. Demonstrators love to swap cards, so that one was inspired by a swap. And this is the fourth card. Okay, so this is my paper and ink card class. This is available um, to any adult crafter that lives in the Chicago area. You can come and make four cards with me. Um, $15 are free with a purchase. And thanks for hanging around while I designed the last card for that class. Um, the class is February 22nd, right Jackie? Are you still there? Let me look. Okay, class is um, yeah, February 22nd is paper and ink cards. Now, this is the project that we're going to make today. Looks like we've got some people viewing. Um, let's see here. Let me clear away my workspace a little bit, and we'll talk about the Stampin' Up! products that we need to make this guy. Now, I made this first one, and I didn't realize what I was doing. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm so human, and you see that so much in Facebook Live. Sorry. Um, the paper that I'm using today, Designer Series, is this from the Truly Tailored Suite. I love this Designer Series paper. We're using this bow tie piece here. But here's some of the other patterns. And the color in this pattern paper is not dapper denim. It's Night of Navy. So I'm going to tell you that this one is done with dapper denim cardstock and ink. But I thought maybe we'd make one with the Night of Navy. Sally loves this set. Me too. Let me show you that other. Okay, so I showed you the designer series paper. Another part of that suite. This is the truly tailored stamp set. We're using this wishing you a dapper day. You can bundle with this, um, uh, what is it called, tailored tag punch, I believe, and save 10% when you buy them both together. I'm using my um, framelits today for this project. I'm not going to use the punch. I'm using the lots of labels. And this is the third largest label. It'll all be on the project sheet. And then this is stitch shape framelits. I'm using the second largest oval for this project. All right, so I'm going to put those aside. The ink pad that I used for this one is Dapper Denim and Chocolate Chip Stampin' Right. But I'm going to swap that out. You know, we're live. Why not make things crazy and complicated? Um, but I realize that it's not Dapper Denim, so I'm going to switch that out to Night of Navy for my second um, treat. And we'll see how it turns out. Okay. Barbara says she loves that paper. Let me see what the name of it is. I forget. I've got it right here, though. Um, it is called True Gentleman Designer Series Paper. And as you can see, the color in there is not dapper denim. It's night and navy. So we're going to swap out. All right. So that means I'm going to have to cut a little bit of paper. Um, let me grab a piece of night of navy cardstock. And the tray piece for five nuggets is four and seven eighths by two and three eighths, so I'm going to cut one of those. Oh yeah, that's right. Jackie just reminded me. Jackie, what would I do without you? The um, paper and ink card class in the Chicago area is in Rolly Meadows on February 22nd, and it's in Carpentersville on February 7th. I'm doing this class twice in the Chicago area. So if you'd like to attend either of those, just give me an email, marissa at kitchentablestamper.com. Okay, I'm popping over inside just a second to cut my card stuff. Oh my gosh, what a racket. Okay, I could have just made the dapper denim one, but I kind of wanted to see how the Knight of Navy one turned out. The next thing I need to do is score this for the nugget tray. So I'm going to bring in my Simply Scored. Gina says, great project. like to see it tailored for a guy. Yeah, you know what? See? Isn't that just a cutie? Let me get that back in there in case you're just joining us. Um, we're scoring at one half inch and one and seven eighths inch. And let me get my little bowing folder in here. And then we're going to fold this up. All right. 
there it is. So we've made a little tray for our Hershey Nuggets. I've got a big um, bag of assorted ones. And so I'm just using all different flavors. And I've got one by three inch pieces of the designer series paper. And you have to be careful when you're using this truly tailored if you're going to use like the pipes or you're going to use the um, bow ties. You have to watch the orientation of your paper. So um, make sure that you cut the three inch direction so that the bow ties go across because then when you turn and put it, when you put it on your nugget, then your bow ties go um, in the proper direction. So watch orientation with your pattern papers. I've got five of these and I was going to, I'll be honest, I was going to wrap these ahead of time so that you didn't have to watch me, but I got distracted by the card. Let me put that back in there so you can see how cute that is. All right, so I'm going to just wrap some of these nuggets real quick, and I'm going to use fast fuse to do it. I like to go um, like in a T-shape on the papers, so I go down the long way and then across the short direction, and this little T-shape rolls across the nugget, and then the intersecting adhesive seals the deal. So let me show you that. Here's my little nugget, and I'll just center my paper right to left and leave equal amounts. Now when I turn it over, I'll wrap this side first, and then the side with the um, perpendicular adhesive, we'll wrap that one second and smooth it down. So now those are gonna stay nice and tidy in their package. And I'm gonna do that three more times. All right, so I thought these were really cute for Father's Day. I'm doing some, some craft fairs. Uh, March 3rd and 4th, I'll be at Kirk School. Uh, March 10th and 11th, I believe it is, I'll be at Forest View. And I think April 14th, I'll be at Fremd High School. So if you're local to the Chicago area, come and see me. Um, all of those dates are now on the blog in a post. I'll make sure I get them up on my calendar. But if you've got questions about craft fairs, you want to come out and see me, uh, you can email me, marissa at kitchen table stamper. Oh, Barbie liked that tip about how I put the adhesive in a T-shape. Is that the... Yeah, it makes it, it makes it just a little bit smoother. I hate when they come undone. And if you get in the pattern, they stay closed. <laughs> Gina says, can you come to Arizona? Hmm, um, let me tell you this. Since we're just wrapping nuggets and chatting here, I have a 50-state bucket list. Um, I really... I think that travel is important, but I'm more interested in domestic travel than abroad at this point because I think there's so much amazing to see in the United States. So I do. I, before I die, I'd like to go to all 50 states, and Arizona is not yet checked off my bucket list. So we might have to uh, make some sort of plan there, Gina. Um, I've been to New Mexico, and I love the dry heat, uh, but never Arizona. I think Jackie's going to Arizona. Maybe I'll have to tag along in her suitcase. All right, so we've got our nuggets wrapped. Sorry I didn't do those ahead of time. Yeah, see, Jackie's going to Arizona for two weeks. Jackie, who keeps me on tracky. Jackie and Gina would have to meet up for a little stamping fun. All right, so there's, now I've got this two by eight bag, and I'm gonna just slide these guys in there. Gina doesn't mean for pleasure. <laughs> she means to teach a class. Oh, goodness, you're going to work me, huh? <laughs> oh, I love that. I'm not kidding you. That's the best way. Those kind of trips. If I came to Arizona to teach a class and crap a day, I could write off the expense. Gina, we need to email about this. Get my bucket list and business all in one. All right, so there's our pretty little nugget tray. And I have to say, I think that when you choose the right color to coordinate with the pattern paper, you do yourself a favor. There's room for creativity, but I don't know if there's that much room. All right. So, Jackie, do you think that I'm going to take this apart and change it all to Night and Navy? I'll let you. I'll let you think about that one. You know me well enough. All right. So, I ahead of time I cut this label shape from the um, lots of labels. I wasn't going to show you that one because we're going to die cut the oval together because I want to die cut it after I stamp. So I've got a piece of van very vanilla cardstock here and it's 
three inches wide. Gina, you think both colors look great? Good, because I was feeling a little self-conscious about my um, little faux pas there. I'm going to take a picture of it later when I'm done here with the Night and Navy one and the Dapper Denim one side by side. I figure the work is done, right? I guess if I picked pink, I would have been off a little, but they're both blue, right? Okay, so I've got my um, Wishing You a Dapper Day sentiment here in a little bit of low-tack tape. Now, I just use a piece of washi tape. I have a lot of orange stripe washi tape from a project for um, Halloween years ago, so it's just washi tape there, and I covered the mustache, and I'm going to ink up my stamp with the Knight of Navy this time. But you can use Dapper Denim, you see. <laughs> and then I'll pull off the tape, and I'll set that aside, because you can use that a couple of times. Especially if you're like me making a bunch of them um, for party favors or for craft fair or something, you can use that tape a few times. Then I'm going to go in with my chocolate chip stamp and write marker and ink up my mustache. Now here's where I get very unladylike because I am going to huff on this image to get, keep those ink colors very damp. <sighs> Sorry, I'm breathing heavy in your ears there. All right, let's make sure I'm in the picture. I'm going to stamp that dude. I always have washi tape on hand, Gina. You can totally use painter's tape, and it's probably less expensive, but I love washi tape, so there's always washi tape in my craft room right on hand. You can also use, I've seen people do like the um, surgical tape because it's got kind of a low tack. So I've seen that done too. Whatever floats your boat. I like handy. Handy is what floats my boat. All right, so there's my wishing you a dapper day, multicolor sentiment. This is the dapper denim in the night of navy. I don't know if that's even um, picking up a difference on the camera, but it's different. I wonder if I like the dapper denim better. It gives it a little depth. I don't know, this one's dapper denim also. All right, we're just playing around now. Night of Navy, Dapper Denim, your choice. Maybe I'll do some of both. It's for craft fairs. There's a lid to every pot, right? It's not all about what I like. That's the fun part about craft fairs. You can do all kinds of different stuff, and you never know what's going to appeal to people. Do you guys want to see some of the things that I've crafted so far for my spring shows? I have a couple of things here. I can show you some of the stuff. A lot of it is stuff that I have tutorials on the blog for, too, so it might inspire you, and you can go look at what's already there. Maybe crafty projects for the weekend, right? Okay, so I'm just lining up my stitched shape. It's the second largest oval, and I'm going to tack it down with some tape here. I don't want it to shift. It's a close fit. <laughs> Gina says yes, yes, yes. Okay, I got only a couple of fun little things. Sally says yes, please. All right, we'll do it. I don't want to keep you guys all day, but that's what I do all day on Friday. I craft, so you guys can join me. All right, so there's our Wishing You a Dapper Day. This project's almost done. This is a really quick one, even though we wrapped the nuggets together and everything. All right, so this 8-inch bag is a little bit too long. I want them to be nice and um, snug. Uh, they're going to get handled, too, for the craft fair. And if you were, like, doing table favors and stuff, you'd want them nice and snug. So I'm cutting off maybe an inch off the top of the bag. And that'll keep it tidy. And for me, this step is just so much easier to do while everything's flat. So I'm going to grab my chocolate chip ink pad and just stamp handmade by Marissa Alvarez and copyright stamping up on the back since it's going to craft fair. So I'll stamp that on the back of chocolate chip with chocolate chip. I don't want it to be too in your face, but I do want to be compliant. And this is going to craft fair, so handmade by Marissa Alvarez and then copyright stamping up. That's the back of my project. You can put your made by stamp on the back of there if you wanted to. All right, and then I'm going to grab my fast fuse again, if I can remember where I put it. Oh, I'll do a little snail, and I just want to put the tiniest little bit of snail there, or fast fuse a glue dot, just so that everything stays put while I'm assembling. So I'm going to tack the bag down into that adhesive and make sure that my label is absolutely straight. 
because things are about to get real. I'm going to bring in the stapler in a minute. Okay, I feel like I'm pretty centered. Maybe a little bit to the left. By the time I do a few of these, they're going to go together a little bit faster than that. My goodness. All right, then what I want to do now is turn my project over and I'm going to staple this piece from the back to the front. And what that'll do is give me a clean staple on the back. Nobody's going to catch their fingers on that. It's nice and uh, tidy and finished. Then we're going to add our little oval with some dimensionals. Now, I have got all these extra little dimensionals from my paper pumpkins. I'm going to use them up. I want to put four, I think, on here. Make sure that it's well supported. I get pretty generous with adhesive. I don't like saggy projects. You know how when you put something on with dimensionals and it gets all saggy in the middle? I can't stand that. I better be careful. I left a little pink mark on my cardstock with my nail polish. Hmm. All right, we're going to center that in the label and finish up the front. There they are, wishing you a dapper day. Hey, thanks, Gina. Gina says, very nice. There's our Knight of Navy, dapper day. There's our dapper denim, dappy, dapper day. And fun little card that we're going to do in paper and ink cards. All right, then let me show you a couple other things. So I'm getting ready for craft fairs. Hey, I see lots of thumbs up. Thank you. Those always make me so happy. All right. So let's talk about some craft fair projects. I'm doing lots of things kind of in batch production, so a lot of them are going to be similar. But I'm making some post-it notepads. Um, I've got the template and the tutorial for this on the blog, but I did a couple of different designs. This will look familiar to you. I love to, once I do a project or do a card, I like to go project and make an inspired card really get some extra mileage out of your supplies that way while you're in that creative groove, you know. So this is uh, the notebook that inspired this card. And this is the little 3x3 post-it pad that inspired this card. See, so I like to get double duty out of the things that I'm doing. Got a couple more notebooks here. Here's another 3x3 post-it pad and pen. KitchenTableStamper.com. There's directions for this project. There's a couple of ways I dressed them up. Got a bigger notepad that I do also. It's a little junior legal pad. Here's two designs. Um, let's see here. I'm going to bring in these. There's a video for this one on the blog too. Found these fun little coffee candles at Dollar Tree and made a little box with gift card holder. I found this template online and then just modified it a little bit so that it came, went together a little easier for me. And there's a tutorial for that on the blog. I found a cold coffee and I found a hot coffee. So I have two versions. So here's a little hot coffee with the lid with the Starbucks stopper. I had to make friends with my barista. I, yeah, got a couple of those. I thought that finished it off nicely. So there's those two guys. I found some other candles that I'll be doing over the next couple of days here to get ready for the shows. I found birthday cake, like cupcakes, and I found wine glasses. So I'll show you those after I get them made. Um, all right. Want to see a couple of cards? I got two more little things I could show you. It's like show and tell today. Um, when you purchase Stampin' Up! products, with Kitchen Table Stamper, either through my web store or in person with me, any purchase during the month, I reward that purchase and thank that purchase with a virtual class. So my virtual class for this month is the um, features, oh, let's put it right side up, features this pretty little party, birthday party stamp set. Hold on. Of course, I can't remember what it's called. My memory is not what it used to be. Uh, features. This one. This 
picture perfect birthday. So if you place any order for me, you get this class by email. It's in the form of written tutorials, you get a full color photo and um, measurements, step-by-step -step instructions and supply list. Oh, look at my balloon. It's deflated a little bit. Let's fix that. Hmm. Hmm. I fixed it all right, and I covered part of the sentiment. There we go. So that's the class. Thank you. Hi, Rhonda. Thank you, Gina. All right, so that's the free class for my customers. If you place an order, you get a class via email. Every month they do a different one. That's February. Um, February 12th is my Apron of Love class, and I have not showed anybody if you're not in person. These are the first time they've been seen online. So these are the projects for Apron of Love. Yeah, this is my February promotion. So if you place an order in February, you get this tutorial. Any Stampin' Up! order qualifies you in online or in person. Um, this is my February product class. We're going to make these projects. Now, the product class is $18 in my Rolling Meadows Home Studio, but if you buy the bundle, the class is $8. So that's some things. I've been just running to catch up, and that's the first time I've showed anybody that class. Um, so that's some of the creative stuff I've been up to behind the scenes. I know the blog's been a little bit quiet, but I've been working. So there you go. There's the project again. The um, post is already made for this project. I'm going to download the video and archive it to the blog and get the project sheet on the blog today. So kitchentablestamper.com is where you can find the measurements and the supply list for this, and you'll be able to find this video going forward. And... A lot of what I showed you today is either on the blog already and just kind of a variation. So if you're looking for tutorials um, for the notebooks, they're on the blog. The coffee candles, they're on the blog. I could probably put some um, links in this blog post back to those posts in case you're looking for them. And stuff going forward, you'll have some opportunities to, to catch videos for like the paper and ink stuff in February blog posts. Um, the Apron of Love is available as an online class. It's $15. So if you just want to take the online version of that class, you can get that. Oh, Gina, thank you for your time today. My goodness. I won't know what I'd do without you guys. Um, this is the dream that God put in my heart. I love to stamp. I can't help myself. And I'm so glad that you spend some time with me doing what I love. Oh, Barbara, thank you. I'm glad you liked the projects. So I'll put some links to the other tutorials in the blog post for today. Do you guys have any questions about this project today? Anything else I can do to help you stay crafty? If not, I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get out of here before Jackie gets here and photobombs us again. All right, you guys, thanks for spending your afternoon with me. I'll be back next Friday. I don't know what we're going to work on yet, though. I have some of these. Let me show you. I found the Pearson's mints that are still wrapped in coin shape. I'm going to make some of those for the craft bears, like little, um, there we go, treat bags with these. Maybe I'll have one of those project tutorials for you on Friday. We'll see. Depends on what I get stamping this weekend. Patty loves 3D projects. Me too, Patty. I like to make cards, and I send quite a few cards, but 3D projects get my motor running. Maybe it's because I'm not as good at 3D projects. Uh, cards come more naturally to me. 3D projects are the challenge, but I sure love them, and I love the look on people's faces when you hand them something like this. You know? It, I don't know. I have a soft spot for the 3D project too. All right, you guys. I'm going to get out of here, get something for lunch, and get back to crafting. Check the blog later for the tutorial. Did I do the cupcake jars yet? No, I did not do the cupcake jars yet. Okay, so I have cupcake jars that are like these. For you, those of you who don't know, I have cupcake jars that are like these cold cups, and I have not done them yet. Um, I don't know when I'll get to them, Patty. My craft show is March 4th, so I better get 3rd and 4th. So I better get to them soon. As soon as I do, I'll have a... Um, tutorial up on the blog. I, the same, the box is going to fit the same, um, so the tutorial will be the same uh, measurements and cutting direct 
dimensions, it's just going to be how do I dress them up. I'll show you as soon as I can. Have you guys seen the little wine glass candles? I've got some of those too, so I'll be doing a wine version of this. But the measurements, I think, are going to be different. Hey, baby. There's my husband. I don't know why he's watching me. He should be working. All right, you guys. I'm out of here. I'm going to go take care of some stuff. You don't know you haven't seen those little wine uh, glass candles? There will be a tutorial hitting the blog pretty soon. You can find them at Dollar Tree, all my little candle jars. They're hard to find, though. People scoop them right up, so you got to watch their shipments. Oh, <laughs> Jackie, you are not. Keep blabbing. I'm almost there. Was that sent from the car? Are you Facebooking and driving? <laughs> all right. I am not going to keep blabbing anymore. I am out. Kitchen table stamper out. I'll catch you guys next Friday. Thanks for spending time with me. Bye.